Hello, this is David again, and um, from Okinawa, and I'm going to continue talking about my salvation the day I met Jesus and I gave my life to Him. Um, I went to a, a meeting. I was invited by a friend who uh, asked me to come to the meeting, and I never wanted to go. Had no interest in it whatsoever. Uh, I was raised Roman Catholic. You know, my mother used to bring me the Catholic Masses, make me go to Sunday school there, what they called the catechism at the time, and um, used to uh, go with her and she dragged me, basically. I never understood anything. All I understood was the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, and people stand and sit down at this time and do this and do that, you know, amen, and, and um, but nothing ever happened to me. So I used to wonder if God was real or not, is God real? You know, I never found out about Jesus Christ. I just knew some man by the name of Jesus had died on this cross. That's all I knew. And um, I thought it was pretty good to be an altar boy. And my mother wanted me to be an altar boy, so I was training to be an altar boy. And I used to like the part about the priest where he used to drink the wine on communion Sunday. And uh, I had liked wine uh, when I was a kid. And um, I got heavy into drinking after I got into the military. And we got into speed, we got into smoking dope. And when I got born again, I asked Jesus into my life that day. I got free of those things. No man set me free. I didn't go through no rehab. That day, Jesus Christ himself set me free. So, can Jesus deliver a human being from anything? Yeah, I can say yes. Most definitely, 100% yes. I gave my life to Jesus that day. So I went to this meeting, and it was upstairs. This meeting was in a room that was in a building that was used, owned by the Masons. And the person who rented the building rented a room upstairs on the second floor. And I, when I was approaching, the meeting had already started. I went in through one door and I went into the hallway and I heard it said church in this room, church meeting. So I went in and everybody was dancing, yelling, screaming, and shouting, hallelujah, and all that. And I've never been in an atmosphere like that, never. And the people were pretty crazy. And, uh, but they were smiling. And they were happy. And I had someone come up and hug me, grab me out of nowhere. So I went on a defensive mood and that mode, and I pushed him back right away. And um, then I found a seat in the back, you know, because you want to make your exit, you want to get out. Then I sat in the back, and um, people tried to usher me to the front. I said, no, it's okay, can I just sit where I want? So I sat in the back. And um, I sat down, and uh, they all sat down after the worship. The atmosphere, though, I could say was different. Never been in an atmosphere like that. I didn't know what it was. I just know I felt pretty good in this atmosphere. All the praises and the worship was going on. I didn't know what they were doing. I didn't know why they were raising hands at the time. And um, the preacher man got up there. He was a big man. He had a beard. He was big, over six feet. And he was a rough boy. He was rough. And uh, you could tell. And uh, I'm from a rough background. So it really didn't bother me. And I just sat and listened. And as he was talking, I don't remember what he talked about. I know he talked about Jesus wanted to come inside your heart. And I remember that. And and I, I'm thinking, how the heck do you get him in there? You know, how the heck do you get him in there? Just like that, just to be truthful. And uh, what do you mean inside your heart? And he only comes in by invitation. He won't go against your will. And I remember those things. And I was sitting there, and I felt inside me a turning experience taking place. I was a turning place inside me and, I, and I'm, I'm thinking, man, I'm, this is this is the first time I've ever wanted anything to do with Christians and anything to do with what's going on inside me. Something was going on inside me like somebody was touching me from the inside out. So when he was all done, the place was real quiet, and he said, anybody want to invite Jesus Christ into their heart, come forward. So I stood up, and I just walked forward. And there was only one other person that walked forward at the same time as me, I believe. But I was so focused, as I said, 
And he told me to kneel down in the first video. I told you that he was very rough, said kneel down boy. And close your eyes and pray this prayer after me. And I did it. And then when I stood back up, he told me to open my eyes and the water, this water was pouring out of my, just pouring out of my eyes. The water was just coming down. I didn't feel any pressure. I felt light, so light like a feather, like putting on a backpack and you take off the backpack after rucksacking and your body starts rising and rising. I felt that lightness. I felt so high. I, I felt a peace that I'd never experienced in my life. I was looking for peace. I was looking for inner peace. As I said, I was investigating. I got involved in Buddhist meetings. I was studying Confucianism. I was studying Taoism. I was studying Chinese philosophy. I was into uh, transcendental TN meditation for some time. I was, why was I doing that? I was hungry. I was looking, is there a God? I want a God that will, God, I want to, is there a real God, a God that really is God? He's, I mean, he's the God of gods. And I didn't know that Jesus was the God of gods at the time, but I know that when I invited this man, as I knew him at the time, Jesus to come into my life, I changed. It's nothing I did, it's nothing I practiced, I didn't know anything. I changed. I didn't know the Word of God, never read it. Never, you know, never read the Bible. No, I changed. He came in. The living Christ came into my life for the first time. I was 29 years old, and peace came into my life. And I've been living this way ever since. And I was so... I didn't leave the meeting the same way I came. I didn't leave the meeting the same way I came. I felt light as a feather. This invisible, heavy tension, pressure that I know was on me. Because when I asked Jesus into my heart, I knew it wasn't there no more. So I knew there was a heavy, unseen darkness on me. And my life began to change. From that day on, I had to find out who this Jesus Christ was. And I began my journey in Christianity. And that day I became a disciple and a follower of Jesus. And I had to dive in, because I'm the type of person, I like to dive into what I study. And I began to dive in to see that Jesus Christ had to become my lifestyle. So until next time, I'll continue in my journey and sharing my personal testimonies, first time publicly that I ever did, about Jesus, who is fully man, I could say, and fully God. God bless you and bye for now.